Hey guys, what's up? It's Kiara here. In today's video, I'm super excited to be sharing with you guys my tips and tricks to take efficient notes that actually help you when you guys are studying later on. You guys have requested this video so, so much. Be sure to leave me a comment down below if you would like more study videos like this, and I'll try to share things like how I study for tests and different things like that. My list of 10, so let's get started. My first tip for you guys is to disconnect your head from your hand, and it sounds super weird saying that out loud, but it's so important during lecture that you're actually absorbing the material that the teacher is talking to you about and that your hand is just doing its own thing and copying off notes from lecture slides. Otherwise, you're essentially just wasting your time sitting in lecture if you're not thinking and processing. And if you do this, you're also able to realize when a teacher says something extra important. That way you can put a little star next to it in your notes. The next thing I like to do is to map my notes like a story. When I flip back at my notes, it's most helpful for me if it's easy to follow. Otherwise, when I flip to a page, I'm going to be super confused, not know where to start reading. So I like to use a lot of different arrows in my note taking just so I understand how one thing leads to another. And and just like a book, I like to draw a lot of diagrams and pictures. I use a highlighter to block everything off, sort of like a chapter book blocks off one certain part of the story. Tip number three is to use lots of abbreviations and to have your own sort of symbol key that you guys like to use when you're taking notes. I'm going to insert a picture of what mine looks like. These are the most common ones that I like to use. Feel free to take a screenshot of this picture if you want to start implementing these in your own sort of notes. BRB. I wrote this down. I'm back. Some of mine are super obvious. I use like BC for because, W and then a slash for with, dot 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 for etc. And then three dots in a triangle for therefore. Anything that I'm like kind of unsure about or didn't really quite understand or need to double check if I'm unsure that I wrote it down wrong, I'll put a question mark and then I'll circle it. So I know I need to go back and check with notes or look it up online. I use a triangle symbol for whenever I want to say like a change in something. Arrows, like I said before, leads to a relationship. Anywhere where there's a star or asterisk, that's info that either the teacher has emphasized a lot and I think is going to be on the test or they have literally said like you need to know this for the test. I just have a bunch of little shortcuts so but that's what I like to do and that's how I go fast. Like I don't have the fastest handwriting and otherwise it would take me way too long to write everything out. Tip number four is to never compromise content for perfection. Like I said before I'm not the fastest note taker and if I took a lot of time like making all my handwriting super perfect and getting every word for word right then I would just be wasting my time and I wouldn't be getting all the content that I need to get in my notes down. So that's something that's really important to me and that's when I'll use the question mark with a circle because I know the teacher's already moved on to another topic so I need to keep up with it, write faster and move on. And tip number five is to develop your own style to make your notes authentic, unique, and actually fun to do. I'm actually really proud of my notes and I know a lot of my friends who are obsessed with note taking are too and that's because they make it look a certain way, it's unique to them, and, it, and they write it in a way that they can understand. Another way that I like to do this is to use some different colored like highlighters and pens and I'll go out and kind of reward myself by getting some fun different colors and having it all coordinating. Whatever works for you if you like to do like little washi tape, you know, obviously that's probably not a thing to do during lecture when you're taking notes but say you're going back and taking notes on like a textbook chapter or something like that when you have more time to write notes you can make them you know look a certain way tip number six is gonna help you really organize and absorb your notes and help you actually learn them I know a lot of people like to rewrite their notes over and over but that actually doesn't help you learn rather than just rewriting the notes over and over it's really important to think about how can I reorganize them in a different way and this kind of goes into your style like something that I like to do a lot teachers will post their lecture notes and I will go through them and then reorganize them onto my my own notes basically taking notes on their notes but in my style and that's really gonna help your brain process the information and think about how to rephrase a different line tip number seven is to not be afraid to be repetitive in your notes oftentimes when teachers lecture they have their slide up on the board and when they're lecturing off of their slides they're not saying it in the same way that it's written on the slide and when they rephrase things that they're talking about write those things down because going back later helping you understand a concept that's really really hard sometimes hearing it in a different way just helps make it click a lot of times I'll just do a little arrow off of what whatever bullet point it is, and then write the rephrased line. Tip number eight is to be realistic with your notes. You're not trying to make a masterpiece. I like to use colors and highlighters, but I literally force myself to use no more than two colors in a given day. So I'll just pick, you know, like orange is my color or blue is my color that day. And all of the different ways that I highlight or box information will be in one color. If I was wasting all my time switching between colors, I would never get any information down. So don't go crazy with the pens. Yeah. Tip number nine is to become familiar with your notes. Don't just write your notes and never look at them again, if you're going to spend the time doing it, you might as well go back and reread them. If you're ever bored before bed,
bed, can't fall asleep, do some nightly reading before bed, flip through your notes. Oftentimes if I have a diagram in my notes and I'm constantly looking at it, when it comes to test day and I have a question regarding that diagram, I can literally visualize my notes in my head and answer the question. My last tip for you guys is to take notes even when you're not required to. I really believe this is what separates an A student from like a B or a C student. For me, it really helps alleviate stress as well because I know if I have it in my notes, I'm able to refer to it and I have it written down. Just relying on your brain to remember a tiny little detail causes me a lot of stress if you can't recall what that little thing was that teacher said was going to be on the test. So write everything down, even during review sessions when it's not required. Take notes on the book when it's not required. At the end of the day, when I study for finals, I'm really studying off of my notes and that's because I've already taken notes on the textbook and in lecture. This also really helps me build a trusting relationship with your notes. If you can tell yourself that you have written down every single important point that the teacher has said in class, then you know that you that you have everything there. But if you're kind of wishy-washy and half of the time take really good notes and half the time don't, then you're never going to be able to use your notes as a study tool. And that's just really wasting your time and wasting your resources. I hope that all made sense for you guys and I want you guys to be super successful and motivated to show your skills on a test. Thank you guys so much for watching and I also want to thank you guys so much for 70,000 subscribers. That is absolutely insane. I also want to remind you guys to follow me on my social media. I have my Instagram and my Twitter. They're both at Kiara Madison. I love talking to you guys on there. If you ever have any questions, feel free to message me and I'll be sure to reply back to you guys. I hope you have a wonderful and productive week. I'll talk to you later. Bye. It's time for me to go take some notes on my own. I 212. You will not be missed.